Hi friends, welcome to my brand playbook for Web3. Tip number one, Metaverse consultant is basically equally to a weight loss coach. Metaverse brand consultant can TLDR you the overall market, but you won't be able to get fit right away. It takes day to day to go into the Metaverse gym on your end to be Web3 savvy. Instead of going straight to get advice from random people in the Web3 space, it is really important to do your own homework. Map out all the top players in the space. It does take work to acquire information, but to be a pro it really doesn't take years. Build a cohesive 360 experience is really important. People can see through the quick buzz. By simply launching NFT collections on your web page is very 2021. A month is a year in Web3, so please keep your strategy 2020 proof. Look at what Web3 native companies are doing, not only other big brands. Pay attention to the smaller innovations and seek fit instead of look, try to look impressive on a press release. Tip number two. The people who will buy your NFT may not be the same person who will buy your physical goods. People come to the metaverse to form a new identity for themselves. It is a way they could really explore a different life than who they are RL. Focus on the overall self-expression aspect than trying to sell physical goods. Make a free experience can help your brand reach a new set of audience groups. There will be three types of people who try to get involved. Tier 1 are the people who already bought your physical goods. Tier 2 are people who are friends with the people who bought your physical goods. They're tempted, but they're not really convinced. And Tier 3 are the people who are into NFT and the digital space. How to target all of them is you create a game-like experience. Do a 5 years old test in your head and just think, can a 5 year old person figure out how to get involved with your metaverse? If not, just say goodbye to that solution. Tip number 3. Be who you are. Collaborate with brands that make sense, not just other big brands. For example, Artifact and Ferocious is a great example. Instead of Artifact, um, straight up to go after someone like Bebo, they decided to go after someone who is more cohesive or aligned with their brand and their vibe, which result in a huge success. Branding in Web3 is a long-term game. Do a little every day is better than do something huge and expect a massive return right away. Be bold, but also be realistic. If you like those Web3 branding tips, just comment your email down below or um, connect with me on Twitter or LinkedIn. I'm at GraceGongGG on Twitter and just GraceGong on LinkedIn.